I am Sadhush Gadankar. Today I am teaching you mechanics of material in that one torsion. The problem number 8. A hollow shaft. It is a hollow part. That means the inner diameter and outer diameter will be there. Hollow. With an inner diameter to the outer diameter ratio. That is inner diameter to the outer diameter ratio is given as 0 0.45. That means di is equal to 0 0.45 d naught. Outer diameter used to transmit a torque T is equal to 2500 Newton meter it has to be converted in terms of mm 2500 into 10 to 3 Newton mm taking allowable shear stress for the shaft material as 50 megapascal tau is equal to 50 Newton per mm square because 1 megapascal is nothing but Newton per mm square and limiting angle of twist as 1.5 Theta is applied by pi by 180 in order to convert in terms of radian. Radian. The length is 2 meter. Length is 2 meter. It has to be multiplied by 1000 in order to convert in terms of mm. 2000 mm. Determine the inner and outer diameter. We have to find out. We have to find out inner and outer diameter. We have to find out the inner and outer diameters here. inner and outer diameter find out the inner and outer diameter take g is equal to 80 kilo newton per mm square take 80 newton per mm square that means 80 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square mm square we have to find out the inner and outer diameter. Now I will use the formula T is equal to JP is equal to tau divided by R is equal to G theta by L. G theta by L. Here, based upon the shear stress, you have to one you have to find out one more based upon the twist you have to find out. Now based upon the shear stress. Based on shear stress T divided by JP is equal to tau divided by R T value is 2 phi double 0 into 10 raised to 3 JP polar moment for hollow is nothing but pi by 32 D naught raised to 4 minus D R raised to 4 D R is to 4. D R is to 4. But the condition is given here. D I is nothing but 0 0.75 D naught. Substitute here. Pi by 32. D is raised to 4 is unknown. In place of D I, substitute 0 0.45 D naught raised to 4 is equal to shear 50 divided by r r is nothing but d naught by 2 r is d naught by 2 d naught by 2. that means 0 0.5 d naught 0 0.5 d naught now bring the unknown this side 2 phi double 0 into 10 raised to 3 is equal to 50 divided by 0 0.5 d naught into pi divided by 32 open the bracket d naught raised to 4 minus 0 0.75 d naught raised to 4 close the bracket now find the unknown outer diameter find the outer diameter 25 double 0 into 10 raised to 3 alpha is equal to 50 divided by 0 0.5 into alpha x into open bracket chapter 2 into alpha x raised to 4 minus 0 0.75 into alpha raised to complete bracket raised to 4 close the bracket shift solve is equal to 
you will obtain d not value you will obtain d not value outer diameter value now outer diameter value is 71.95 mm now inner diameter will be this is the inner diameter 0.75 into 71.95 0.75 into 71.95 answer is 53.96 mm inner diameter outer diameter and inner diameter now based upon the twist based on the twist Now I will use the combination of torque and theta. Don't use the combination of tau and r. Sometime the answer will get wrong. In, in order to find out the diameter, prefer the torque rather than going for the shear stress. T divided by GP is equal to G theta divided by L. Now substitute the value 2 phi double 0 into 10 to 3 divided by pi by 32 by 32 d naught raised to 4 minus 0 0.4575 d naught raised to 4 is equal to g is nothing but 80 into 10 raised to 3 theta 1.1.5 into pi by 180 pi by 180 divided by length is 2000 now how to solve the problem bring the unknown this side if it is a single unknown, you can directly simplify. There are two unknowns. That means the two terms, the two x factors are coming here. Therefore, try to move upwards, upward in order to get the result faster way. 2 phi double 0 into 10 raised to 3. I write this term as it is. 80 into 10 raised to 3 into 1.5 into pi by 180 divided by 2000. Bring this entire term here. Open the bracket pi divided by 32 d naught raised to 4 minus 0 0.75 d naught raised to 4 close the bracket with the help of calculator solve 2 phi double 0 into 10 raised to 3 alpha is equal to 80 into 10 raised to 3 into 1.5 into shift phi divided by 180 2000 into shift pi divided by 32 into alpha x raised to 4 minus 0 0.75 into the bracket close the bracket shift to solve is equal to now the d naught value appears The answer is 77.22 mm. Now, in, for, in order to find out diam, inner diameter, multiply by 0 0.75. 0 0.75 into 77.22. 0 0.75 into 77.22. The answer is 57.915 mm. If you compare the shear stress and the twist, the higher values are 77.22 and 57.91 mm. Therefore, it is better to consider based upon twist for the longer period of, for longer life of the shaft. Select this part because this is the higher value rather than selecting this one because of the life of the shaft. I am Sudhush Gadankar. Thank you very much.